Today I'm going to be cleaning a 1969 CB350 gas tank with electrolysis. The 68 through 70 CB tanks share the same features, the flatter sides, has a jewel point here. 69 uh, of course is the last year of the knee pads and uh, it's distinguishable by this fat transition stripe. Um, the Honda of course has got the silver font with the colored feel. This is a candy blue over white and it has the, um, you know, the famous wing emblem. Uh, you can see the enamel is missing on this, but I was able to find a replacement uh, emblem um, online, and I'll have to replace that a little bit later on. Before I start working on the inside of the tank, I like to protect the outside of the tank with a couple of coats of hand wax. You can see it's pretty shiny. MotorcycleZombies.com has a very instructive article about how electrolysis works. It'll give you some good ideas, um, and I will leave the link to that article in um, the description section below. My power source today is the uh, Sears Craftsman automatic um, battery charger. It looks like it's from back in the day when, when Sears was great. I think my girlfriend's old boyfriend left this in the garage, so I'm putting it to good use. If you're using a automatic charger, you're also going to have to use a battery, so it makes demand on the auto charger. This is just an old battery that I had popped it off with a bit of acid so it's a little more stable. I put together a whole set of anodes, the part that you put in the tank, and based it on these common plumber's test plugs. For the 69 tank, um, I'm going to use a 40 millimeter plug, and since the um, frame bridge is so close to the filler top, I had to use something flat. So. Here's the anode I'm going to use. It's just a simple plug with some plain 22 gauge steel. Drilled holes in it to make sure that the plug can vent and um, it'll simply just go right in. This 1965 to 1967 bomber tank on the other hand has got a lot of volume so I'm going to want to get my anode in very deep. It also has a very small uh, filler hole. So again, the 40 millimeter plug works well for that. The uh, 71 to 73 CB 350 tanks, on the other hand, have a very large filler. And so the 50 millimeter plug will work well for and, that. And you know, for the smaller tanks, I just simply use, this is the 35 millimeter plug. It works good for the, the older CBs. Well, you get the idea. For the tank solution, I'm going to use just water and uh, washing soda, of course. That's different than baking soda. Actually, uh, when I started the project, I couldn't find any of the washing soda, so I cooked my own um, washing soda from the baking soda. And um, there's a great article if you want to learn how to do that and want to learn more about the difference between baking soda and, and washing soda. I'll leave that link in the description below. But, uh, I did end up finding the washing soda though. It restocked in my local store. So I, I just have been using a half a cup of, um, of the washing soda with a tank full of water. And it seems to be a pretty good place to start. First check of the anode, it's been one hour. I started at 4.31, it's 5.30, and you can see it's already very effective.
I had to clean and change the anodes often. Um, the 22 gauge steel was pretty easy for me to use. I know there's a lot of really great ideas for anodes and I always like to see new ones. I just used a, a 22 gauge steel, it allowed me to make different shapes to reach the tank. Um, it was pretty effective. I'd only get about a day's use out of these. I also had to change the solution often. This is my first dump out. You can see uh, it's still very, very rusty. And this is the second rinse out. Still a lot of rust coming out of there. It's the third dump out. Wow, it's still very rusty. This last washout was very, very black. As I get closer to the steel, look, it's like a graphite colored sludge. There's a lot of rust flakes in there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe iron oxide or carbon? Somebody knows, put in the comment, comment down, but uh, more cleaning still. Well, I finally got the tank to where I want it. Um, it was really very rusty, and I have to say, it was a lot more hands-on than I anticipated. I had to constantly uh, change and clean the anodes, um, and you can see by the video that I had to rinse it out constantly. Um, but I think I finally got it to a place where um, it can work for me. Let me see if I could shoot a picture of it inside here. You can see it's pretty clean. I'm still seeing a few splotchy spots. Um, and also, because of the rust, the metal seems like it's very porous. So at this point, I'm going to line the tank. I was hoping I was to be able to leave it just clean steel, but given the fact that it's so porous, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping it um, for cast well. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you find this um, video helpful, please like it. If you have other ideas and and comments about electrolysis. I'd love to hear it. And uh, thanks again.